delicious. What do we have here, Mr. Sean? Well, this is like fancy person Stella Artois. This is the Solstice Lager. It's a golden lager, 4.5% alcohol by volume. They're still rocking the paper on top, so you gotta be careful if you wanna suck down some paper. Yeah, I hate that. But man, does it look like a gorgeous beer. Like, Stella really is big on presentation. Stella's, when you said this is like a fancy Stella Artois, which it is, Yeah. Stella Artois in and of itself is like fancy. a fancy beer to me. It's a fancy import. Yeah, we're poor people. Since 1366. I saw that, that's a absolutely it. Just bananas. That's a long time to make beer. Yeah, dude, they're um, probably pretty good at it. When I used to sling beers at the Arrogant Frog at Southport and Fullerton. Slinging them. We had a deal with uh, our Stella wrap where we had to use the Stella glass. Oh, like cool. If, if they saw it, they were in there and we saw it served in a different glass, like, they got pissed. They lose their goddamn they got mind. Yes. So I was Stella Club sure. based out of? It says New York, but I don't think they were brewing beer in 13 I thought it was Germany, but. Okay, okay. I'm, Artois sounds very not German. Sounds French. I mean, I can't go forward in this review without knowing now because that's how my personality works. I hate I'll go the nuts. Move. Belgium. That makes sense. That makes sense. How do you pronounce that? Leuven, Belgium? Probably. Leuven. The Den Hoorn Brewery. <laughs> um, anyways, but what are we eating today? Today we're feasting on the Screaming Sicilian's I'm Snacky little brand. So this is like the little uh, mini egg rolls, or yeah. regular size egg rolls, I guess. Stuffed with a bunch of different foods. We got their combination loaded rolls, which doesn't give us much information. It could be a combination of any sort of uh, foods and feastable uh, facets of the uh, animal kingdom. I'm thinking sausage and pepperoni, but I'm not 100% sure. Pig schlongs and cow hooves. Okay, I hope it's not that. <laughs> pig schlongs. Yeah, I'm hoping it's just pepperoni and sausages. Yeah, but it could be pig schlongs. I cut mine in half for the thumbnail. Don't think that I'm just like weird, <laughs> like yeah. have weird tubes. Also, this is gonna be a Sixer Sauce shot glass. Yeah, and absolutely. And edible, SSSG. Goddamn brilliant. All right, let's get into this here. Let's get into it. We really like these. I the other them. combos, the other ones. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, this is good. The legitimately only downfall of these is the price. Oh, how much are they? Last time we did these, it was like five of them were like, I mean, eight bucks. Mm. Like it's just kind of not mm. enough food for the price for frozen food. I just love that egg roll. Like this is this little crunchy breading. It's so good. The innards, innards. are just like crappy. It, it tastes like crappy pizza ingredients. Pizza. Pizza gooey innards. Yeah, it, it tastes like like tombstone sausage. Yeah, right. But I, it's this. This is the outer shell, so good. And you know, it's not the, this one specifically. When I cut it open, there's so much room for like more to be in there. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be able to fill this up like this. The saving grace is I have Sixer sauce. Yeah. But come on, for the amount of money you're paying, these should, okay, two bad things. They're not full enough. Some of the consistency of them being full is not interesting. Linear. I'd love for you to eat one without cutting it. You cannot tell. You know sometimes yeah. you bite into things? It's probably because I cut it. Yeah, you know sometimes you like bite into things you can tell instantly it's empty? Mm -hmm. I did not get that vibe at all. That's good, yeah. That's good. I put way too much in there, that's hot. Mm. These are excellent. They're really good. Do you want to try one uncut and we can trash that? Absolutely. Not Let's see if this hypothesis is true. Does that taste empty? No. Not really, huh? You're absolutely right. They do a great job with these. The food world needs people like you. <laughs> that's not true. I could die tomorrow, no one would notice. That's true. <laughs> what a dark thing. I do love filling these up with a little Sixer sauce. Now I've heard from you guys in the comments, like a lot of people don't like to rock with Screaming Sicilian in general because the lineup is more expensive than pretty much everything. Mm. And if you're gonna buy frozen pizza, why get the cream of the crop? Like, just get a cheap one. You're eating them over your sink at three in the morning anyways. But like, where do you guys kind of fall in Screaming Sicilian? Yeah, I agree with you though, or I think I agree with you. You haven't really made your stance clear on this, but. <laughs> I'd rather pay a little extra. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's a downfall is like, I know that I'm paying for more than a Little Caesars, which pisses me off, but also a Little Caesars isn't delivering at two in the morning. If I have like that thought in that moment where I'm like, man, I could really go for some pizza, mm -hmm. just put a bunch of hot sauce on it. Yeah, like I'm not, I can't load up the Little Caesars app at 2.44 in the morning. Mm -mm. People are like, why do you do that? Because it's, frozen food is like an efficiency thing. Convenience. Like, it's a convenience thing. Oh man. I, I felt that Sixer sauce go into your heart. Oh, it hit the back of my throat. I'm hoping that either mm. you die, or at least they heard, mm. they, that microphone picked that up. Because it sounded like you got punched. Oh my god, that hit right at the back of my throat. Wow. Those are great though. <laughs> um, yeah man, once again, so we haven't had a flavor we haven't liked. We had the pepperoni, we had the chicken bacon ranch, and now we've had the combo. All of them have been good. Good, good. <clears throat> Alright, should you guys buy those though? Price tag a little high. Uh, let's tell you whether or not you should. Eric McCluskey, drum roll please. Thank you, sir. All right, thumbs up on um, whether or not you liked, you enjoyed. The main thing, should they buy these? 
They're more than a dollar, dollar fifty, two bucks each for each one in here. Yeah, let me double check on that. Six ninety nine. Okay, okay seven bucks. <clears throat> yeah, based on what you're saying. Oh. So good. I think they're good enough to spend a little more on. This is like a fancy frozen mm -hmm. treat. A little fancy treat. Get yourself some fancy Stella and some fancy rolls, have a date over, and if she doesn't agree with your lifestyle, then she wasn't right for you, dude. Yeah, dude, your dating life's about to be fire, bro. <laughs> they're gonna love this. Guys, we'll see you Monday for a brand new episode. Thank you for hanging out with us on this Friday. We hope you have a great start to your weekend. Everybody that buys the merch and signs up at Patreon and all that stuff, you support the show so, so much. Shh, did I get it all? I think so. Sure! I'll have a Stella. Last week I'm fast shirt, don't forget to buy it, it's sick.